I can't let them have my mind, no way I was on some different shit, I went my own way Told my mama wipe them tears, it's gon' be okay Made it from the bottom to the top, now I can't see the hate Why they talking on my life like I won't make it I'm too busy counting cheese while I'm getting faded I won't say a word and these niggas still gon' hate me And I ain't going to no club unless they tryna fade That's all I had to do. Well, I better get to reading this. Oh, I look like reading, bro. What it do, y'all? Back with another banger, finally. I know y'all been missing me. Maybe, I don't know. But we finally got the harness in. Took me a long time. But my channel is about showing y'all the real, you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to fake it to y'all like I got it like that, like I'm these other YouTubers, whatever. This is real life situation. Unless you being cheap and don't really care about the quality, you know what I'm saying? You can probably get this stuff done quick. Unless you got a stupid, retarded, buku crazy bag, you are not about to get this car finished in, in a month. I don't care how they make it seem. You see with my videos, it take me a month and I'll drop a video. A month and I'll drop a video. Cause I care about the quality of my videos, you feel me? I feel like I I, I care about giving y'all something. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just about to put out BS or whatnot. Not about to just talk y'all ear off. Cause y'all not here for all that. Cause I don't even be watching that. The stuff I watch is informative. You know what I'm saying? I try to get something away from it. Some of it be entertaining, you know what I'm saying? But most of it I'll be, you know what I'm saying, I'll be trying to study or whatever. But today, wait, 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 wait. This is your first time checking me out, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that, hit that, hit that red button, subscribe, like, comment, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Share it, show your mama, your grandma, show somebody. You know what I'm saying? Tap in, help me out so I can actually start pumping out videos more consistently or whatever. I need to get my watch hours up, so I'm about to try to start dropping videos. This might be like a four-parter and installing this harness, but I'm gonna try to get this done this weekend for you guys. You know what I'm saying? So like, share, comment, do do all that. Run it up for me, bro. I swear to God, it's worth it. As y'all can see from the title of this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install the LS harness. I got mine from BP Automotive. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got the part number, but this is LS1 BP Automotive harness. Got the LS1, uh, cause I got LS1 injectors or whatnot. So EV1 injectors. But if you're running a standalone harness, for the most part, similar to this BP, PSI, whatever, Holly, whatever, is gonna be pretty close to the same thing, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be showing y'all how to integrate your stock, stock harness into your LS harness. First, I'm gonna do an overview of the stock harness. If you guys just don't know what's what and all of that, I'm gonna tell y'all, try to get y'all close enough, you know what I'm saying? To, to understanding what where this stuff goes so you can tie it on to here. You know what I'm saying? It's not really much, but when it comes to wiring up an LS or whatever, that, that's probably the part that y'all may hate the most. But now I've grown to enjoy this part because I like to see if I can put the wires a certain way, hide them like this and this, this and that. So I'm gonna give y'all some sauce. Like the video first, you know what I'm saying? Give me a comment, share it to somebody else or whatever. You know, so it's gonna be a lot of free game. But an overview of the harness, you know what I'm saying? Where all these loose wires go and whatnot. You gonna, unless you're getting rid of ABS, but if you just did what that other that other video I dropped where I had Skylar exp, uh, explaining where everything goes, if you, if you trimmed it down how he did, then this is how I can help you out. You know what I'm saying? This is your fuel pump wire right here. This one, it's your fuel pump wire is going to down there to your fuel pump. You're gonna plug that in. It's a little plug right here. You're gonna plug that in. You know what I'm saying put your connectors back on here so you can plug that in. I believe that's an eight millimeter bolt right there. 
that plugs straight in. You plug your ABS stuff in. That's pretty straightforward. You should still have that. Um, I believe this is for the VS vehicle speed sensor or whatever. It was probably for the stock uh, transmission, but on your LS harness, you have, I don't really know what we are gonna do with that yet. Once we get closer to, you know what I'm saying, firing up, then I'm gonna figure that stuff out. But then you got your, you know, your, once your wiper motor uh, plug, plug that straight back in. You see, I, I started to clean it up because, you know, everything got to match. I do not do that split plastic, none of that crap on my cars. I will never use that. So go to, go on Amazon, order you some. It's like $30 for like 25 feet. Um, This wire right here is gray wire. I ran it back to make sure, but this goes to the fuel pump. You would plug this straight up. This goes to the fuel pump. This will be your uh, your distributor wire, I believe. Yeah, your stripper wire where you can get your switch switch 12. Me and my group, we normally don't use that for the switch 12. We normally get it from the fuse panel because sometimes that wire can be in inconsistent. But if it does not work, I will be going to the to the fuse box. You should have an ignition port. You should have one in there. You can tap into there, put an inline fuse, run into a distribution block or whatever, and I'll show you all that fancy stuff. Um, this wire is red with a white strip. This is like 12 volts, a constant 12 volt wire. You can put that onto your uh, OBD port. Of course, this tan wire right here, this is your oil pressure uh, gate. I mean, oil pressure uh, wire or plug or whatever you want to call it. I have to change out my uh, oil pressure uh, sensor. I believe somebody makes an adapter or whatever for this plug for it to work on the um for it work for the gauges. Um, this green wire, as you can see, it's running across. That's your temp. Uh, this is my coolant temperature sensor. I just have to get another sensor as well to make that work, or probably tie it into this harness. I don't know. Might just get another sensor. If you put all your for for me. He had put all my ground wires for this stock harness into one. So you got three wires right there. Those are all the colors. I think one's for a fuel pump, one's for the uh, windshield wiper motor. And I forget what the other one is for. If not, just go back and watch that video. Then you got your starter wire. That goes on a little turn on the starter. Um, got your... Got your power wires for the cab, um, for the for the AC, HVAC, and I believe another one for the cab as well. I believe all of these get straight 12 volts, so maybe you could tie them in and run them straight to the battery or run into a post or whatever that's getting 12 volts. Um, got all your AC stuff. If you run an AC, I'll be running AC. That's why I kept my AC hoses and whatnot. I just gotta get a bracket. More likely gonna get one of them ICT billet brackets. It's like 180 or something like that, 200, something like that. I'm gonna get that eventually. And now I'm gonna try to put AC back in here. For my harness, I'll be showing y'all, of course, today. Try to get done, get as much done as possible. But for my harness, I'm gonna be running through that, that hole right there. Because I seen somebody, they put their stock computer right here and it fit pretty well. So. I'm gonna be doing the same exact thing. But here's all the extra other wires. I believe this is for the OBD1 to work or something. Your, your cab feed, straight 12 volts. That plugs in right here and right here. And then this, that white connector right there plugs in right there. Um, This is for your neutral safety switch I believe I think that's where it goes on the LS harness right there let me try to get this stock LS harness routed real quick and probably put you on the time lapse or whatever and show y'all how I'm about to put it I feel like this is a good stopping point. For y'all, it was probably like 15 seconds. For me, it was like 
I don't even know how long it was, but it was very annoying. Cause I, I think the most, the hardest part when you first get a harness is trying to figure out how they would had it laid out and where they would put things. So I ended up having the, y'all seen, I ended up, I ended up uh, struggling with this part, but I want more of this harness to go in there. So it's not all out here and stuff, but this has to go in there. So I was looking at it and it looks like it can get taken apart somehow. So maybe tomorrow or whatever, I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna uh, try to take that apart. But if not, I'm gonna make that hole bigger. Don't really, I didn't really want to do that, but as soon as we get that situated and this harness laid how I want it to, then we'll start connecting the stock harness to this harness and cutting all these zip ties that I have on there and pretty much uh, looming it up and, you know. But yeah, for the most part, it's laid pretty nice. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot I have to clean up. Like, look at all this crap. Look at my motor. I need a vacuum or whatever. I gotta clean up all of this stuff. But for the most part, it's pretty close. You know what I'm saying? I could throw that intake on to see, but I need fuel rails sensors throttle body and i believe that's it got injectors you know what i'm saying so hopefully if this dude not faking tomorrow should have a fuel rail so i be, should be able to put that on i'm gonna go to the auto parts store tomorrow to get the rest of the sensors throttle body i don't really know what i'm gonna do yet i might try to order one but hopefully i can find somebody local that has one cool little video you know what i'm saying me routing the harness this is part one of wiring up the OBS. So if y'all wanna get y'all y'all OBS wired up or whatever, just stay tuned in to my video. I'll be showing y'all everything, literally everything. But like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, don't comment, don't like, whatever. Peace.